Hello, I wanted to give some quick instructions on how to use Bitly. Bitly is a great resource um, if you're sharing really long links with your students or you want them to be able to find something quickly or you want to make it accessible for lots of people. A Bitly shortens any link that you have so that it's quick to type, quick to read, and easy to use. So this is the website I use, Bit. Lee, B -I -T -L -Y com, and you can get started for free so but I have an account I I find bitly is really really useful so I have an account um, and you can have one too with your Hamilton County Google account in fact that's how I've signed up so I'm just clicking to sign in with my Google account it's going to take me through this authentication process just to make sure that I am who I say I am when you sign up, it will do this for you as well. So once I am logged in, it will take me to the Bitly home page and my link manager. So if you look over here, I've created 17 links. Um, I've created one for our related arts team during this distance learning. We've got instrument family quiz. So I use that in my classroom. Lots of different videos. Um, and I use this also at Hamilton Sing so that students can check in. So, and then on your individual links, it'll tell you like this one was clicked 108 times. That's because we used um, postcards to send this link to our students to make sure that they were accessing related arts materials. So that took them to our related arts website. Now, when I want to create a new Bitly, I just click this button, Create. And this is what it's gonna look like every single time. And it's always gonna start with the bit.ly. Now, this is where I wanna paste my long link. So I'm gonna go over to YouTube, and I'm gonna copy, and I'm gonna paste that link in. That's my long link. That's what I don't want students to have to worry about typing. And it has created a link for me. So these links are case sensitive. So that means that the U is going to have to be capitalized. The Z has to be lowercase and the W has to be capitalized. So first I'm going to give it a title. This is musical moments with Mullins A. So they will not necessarily see this title, but I will over here in my link bank. Now, I don't want students to have to figure out 3633UZW and remember that all of those are capitalized. I like to make all of my letters capital or all of my letters lowercase. I find that makes it easier for students. So here I might do M, M, W, M, A. Now, if that link was being used, it would tell me that I couldn't use it. And after I've typed that in, I'm gonna click save, and my link has been taken. So I need to figure out something different to um, make my link different so that it takes it where I need students to go because I don't know what that link would take them to. So maybe I add 20 onto the end because that's the year that I created this. That's the year we're doing this distance learning and it just makes it a little bit different. Adding a number normally will set it apart. Now this link has been edited and I can share it. Now when I copy it, notice that it's not copying the bit.ly. So I have to make sure to do that. And anytime I share this, I need to type bit.ly slash and then my custom back half, which is what this is called. And that there you go. That's how you create a bit.ly. You could include this link in an email. You can post it so that students could type it. There are lots of really great ways to use this resource.